Cedar Fair is one of the largest theme park chains in the world. The chain currently has 11 different amusement parks in their portfolio. These parks are most well known for their roller coasters, several of which were record setters or award winners. But they also tend to be known for their cleanliness, operations, and use of the Peanuts characters. So in this video, I will rank all 11 parks in the chain. Before starting the list, I want to note two exclusions. First, this list will only include the chain's current parks. Over the years, the chain has owned or operated a few additional theme parks such as Gilroy Gardens or the then Knott's Camp Snoopy at the Mall of America. This list will also not include any of the Six Flags parks. The two chains are merging, but the deal is not yet complete. Second, this list will only cover the amusement parks. I will not be ranking the chain's water parks, nor will I factor the attached ones into the park rankings. While I have visited all the theme parks, I have not visited all their standalone water parks. Number 11. Michigan's Adventure Muskegon, Michigan While this is an enjoyable park, it just doesn't have the ride lineup of the parks higher in this list. The flat ride lineup is quite basic, and it lacks any standouts such as a drop tower or a large pendulum ride. Then most coasters at this park are just okay at best. The one exception is Shivering Timbers. This CCI Wood Coaster is one of the best rides in the world for floater airtime, and it's the main reason to visit this park. Then the coasters beyond Shivering Timbers have a tendency to run just one train, causing the lines to crawl. This park does have some nice water ride options for the hot summer days, and I do like the overall look of this park, especially with how rides are placed around the lake. Number 10. Valley Fair in Shakopee, Minnesota This is another park with a weaker coaster lineup relative to the chain, but there are more good coasters than Michigan's Adventure. There's a quirky arrow coaster in Excalibur with some wild airtime moments, a large Morgan Hyper and Wild Thing with a good first half, an intimate impulse coaster in Steel Venom that still has a functional holding brake, and most importantly, a feisty GCI Wood Coaster in Renegade. The latter is delightfully fast-paced. Then this park has a solid flat ride lineup, including a large drop tower and power tower, and an SNS Scream and Swing and Extreme Swing. And this park has a decent River Rapids ride in Thunder Canyon tucked a ways back from the midway. Operations here are fine, and this park has a colorful atmosphere in the front half of the park. Number 9. Dorney Park in Allentown, Pennsylvania This park is good across the board. This park probably has the weakest signature ride of any Cedar Fair park with Steel Force, but this Morgan Hypercoaster still has plenty of floater airtime. Then this park has a decent supporting coaster lineup with a few B&M loopers, an Intamin Impulse coaster in Possessed, and a classic wood coaster in Thunderhawk. Then this park has a nice flat ride lineup with all the staples, plus a really unique drop tower and demon drop. That ride is genuinely terrifying. And the water ride offerings are fantastic with a unique log flume in a hill in Thunder Creek Mountain, a large shoot the chutes ride in Whitewater Landing, and one of the most soaking River Rapids rides in the world with Thunder Canyon. Then this park has a nice atmosphere and fantastic operations. The latter is why lines are usually minimal here. Number 8. Worlds of Fun in Kansas City, Missouri This park moved up my ranks this past year for two reasons. One, the park got a fun new coaster in Zambezi Zinger. This is a peppy GCI hybrid coaster with some sweet laterals. Two, this park lessened the trims on Mamba, so this Morgan Hypercoaster now offers some wild airtime in the return run. This is in addition to a coaster lineup that already had a great terrain-based GCI wood coaster in Prowler, a fun inverted coaster in Patriot, and a now smooth wood coaster in Timberwolf. Then this park has two really great flat rides. Cyclone Sam's is a unique indoor wipeout with epic laterals. Then Detonator is an early SNS space shot with wicked ejector airtime at the top. Then this park has two fine water rides to round out the lineup. This park is a bit more theming than the parks earlier in this list. Crowds usually are not a major issue here, but I have come across a lot of ride closures in my visits. Number 7. California's Great America in Santa Clara, California. It's a bummer this park may one day close because it's really nice. Several areas have a lot of charm to them, 
particularly the entrance area, then the ride lineup is quite good. The park's top three coasters complement each other beautifully. Rail Blazer is a cartoonishly fast RMC Raptor with some of the most powerful ejector airtime out there. Gold Striker is a case as the most intense GCI between its speed, pacing, and forces. Then Flight Deck is a short but punchy B&M invert. The coaster lineup thins out fast though. Then this park has some really good flat rides, including a large Intamin drop tower, a set of flying scooters that are very much snappable, a set of bumper cars with some fast and powerful cars, and a solid frisbee. Then this park has two nice water rides. Whitewater Falls is an Intamin shoot the shoots with some surprising airtime, and Rip Roaring Rapids is a solid rapids ride. The operations here are not the best at this park between dispatch speeds and ride availability though. Number 6. King's Dominion in Doswell, Virginia This park is a strong case for the best one-two punch of any theme park. Intimidator 305 is arguably the world's most intense coaster, as is Intamin Giga's height, speed, and downright violent transitions. Then Twisted Timbers is an RMC hybrid coaster that's an ejector airtime machine. Then this park has some solid other coasters, like the recently retracted Grizzly Wood Coaster, a lengthy B&M floorless coaster in Dominator, and a disorienting indoor launch coaster in Flight of Fear. Then this park is a solid flat ride lineup anchored by three giant towers. Drop Tower is a great freefall sensation. Wind Seeker offers great views spinning high in the air. Then the Eiffel Tower is a photographer's dream. Then this park also has two nice water rides tucked in the woods. And there's even a lengthy shooting dark ride in Boo Blasters. Lines usually are not too bad here, and I love this park's atmosphere. The entry street looks fantastic, the right half is woodsy, and the jungle expedition area has a shockingly high level of theming for the chain. There are so many details to appreciate. Number 5. Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina This park is uniquely on the border of two states, and their signature coaster crosses into both of them in Fury 325. This is a B&M Giga coaster with blistering speed, some sweet laterals, and some fantastic flagector airtime. Then there are three other great coasters as well. There's a diverse mock multi-launch coaster in Copperhead Strike, a B&M Hyper coaster full of floater airtime in Thunder Striker, and a snappy B&M Inverted coaster in Afterburn. I also enjoy the unique Vacoma flying coaster in Nighthawk. The coaster lineup does significantly decrease in quality after that though. The park does have some good flat rides though. This includes a punchy Intamin drop tower, a set of flying scooters where the ops actually encourage you to snap, and a rare Mondial top scan that wildly flips you through the air. And this park even has a decent shooting dark ride in Boo Blasters. This park is oddly lacking any water rides though, which is a major oversight given this hot climate. Operations at this park are quick for their headlining coasters, and I like the improvements they've made in the presentation and aesthetics department over the years. Number 4. Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California This is definitely the best themed park in the chain. The ghost town area is a masterpiece with all the shops and demos, but some other areas like Camp Snoopy and Fiesta Village have a lot of character to them as well. Then this park is a great overall ride lineup. I would love to see this park at a world-class steel coaster, but their current steel coaster lineup is good. Silver Bullet is a sprawling B&M invert with some power. Accelerator is an intimate accelerator coaster with one of the world's best launches and a top hat chock full of ejector airtime. Montezuma's Revenge is a classic shuttle loop with a fun launch and forceful loop. Hang Time is an ultra compact Gerslauer with a great drop and some cool inversions. And then this park has some family coasters worth experiencing, including the deceptively wild Sierra Sidewinder. But the headlining coaster is undeniably Ghost Rider, a long CCI wood coaster with a beautiful blend of airtime and laterals. Then the non-coaster lineup is strong too. There are some decent dark rides, a solid flat ride lineup, and two standout water rides. Calico River Rapids is a rapids ride plus with animatronics. Then Timber Mountain Log Rise a fantastic flume with a long dark ride bit. 
and I also have to praise this park's legendary Scary Farm Halloween event. It is one of the best in the industry. This park does not have the best operations though between their rain policy, ride capacities, and dispatch speeds, which keep it out of the top three. Number three, Canada's Wonderland in Vaughan, Ontario. This is the chain's only international park, and it does a lot of things well. The entry area is so unique with the mountain in front of you. Then I like the overall feel of most areas of the park, particularly the Frontier Canada section of the park. This is actually the park in the chain with the most coasters, not Cedar Point. Their older coasters are not the best, but their newer ones are excellent, specifically their top three. Leviathan is the prototype B&M Giga Coaster with some standout elements. Behemoth is a B&M Hyper Coaster that has tons of floater airtime. Yukon Striker is the best B&M dive machine between its size and inversion heavy layout. Then this is not just the best park in the chain for flat rides, it is one of the best parks in the world in that department. The park is a series of funky and thrilling flats, many of which are large and unique. Then this park also has some soaking water rides, and even two dark rides. One is a hybrid coaster and shooting dark ride in Wonder Mountain Guardian. The other is a straight up shooter in Boo Blasters. This park gets extremely busy, but the operations are very good between their weather policy and dispatch speeds. Number 2. Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. This is another excellent park top to bottom. This is one of the chain's deepest coaster lineups in terms of quantity and quality. Orion is a B&M Giga Coaster with an incredible drop and great elements. Mystic Timbers is the best GCI wood coaster, as this rides an agile layout through the woods. Speaking of which, Beast is another wood coaster going deep into the woods, and while the layout is not too crazy for the most part, the final helix is quite the thrill. Diamondback is another B&M Hyper that's a floater airtime machine. Then Banshee is a large and forceful B&M invert, and Flight of Fear is just as good as its cousin in Virginia. Then there are plenty of other solid supporting coasters. For flat rides, this park has some large ones that should not be missed. This includes the Thrilling Drop Tower, the Supersized Delirium Frisbee, the Windseeker Swing Ride, and the Eiffel Tower if you're into photography. Then this park also has three solid water rides, including a shoot the shoots with some sneaky airtime. Then there's even a Boo Blasters dark ride with a more complex ride system than the others in the chain. And kids have an award winning Planet Snoopy area with tons of rides that can accommodate the whole family. This park has incredible operations, both in terms of dispatches and weather policy. And this park has such a nice atmosphere between the music, the midways, and the use of trees. And coming in number one is Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. This is the chain's flagship park, and it's arguably the best park in the world for roller coasters. This park is filled with record-setting and award-winning coasters spanning most major genres. Steel Vengeance is the star. This RMC Hyper Hybrid is the most airtime of any coaster, and it's mostly Ejector 2. Millennium Force is a speed demon. This Giga Coaster does not slow down, and it also throws in some notable elements. Maverick is a jack of all trades that's ultra forceful. Magnum XL200 is an older hyper coaster with some of the strongest airtime of any ride in the return run. Top Thrill is a giant strata coaster with a ferocious launch, and it's reopening in 2024 with an LSM launch and a spike. Then this park features all sorts of B&M loopers, many of which are among the largest of their kind. Then there are some older coasters with some sneaky good airtime, and plenty of family coasters to round things out. This park has two decent water rides, and for flat rides, this park also likes to go big. The largest ones offer nice airtime and or spectacular views, as this park is a gorgeous setting on a peninsula jutting into Lake Erie. This helps mightily with the park's atmosphere. The midways themselves are clean and vibrant. Then the Frontier Trail section of the park is a nicely themed western area that's a relaxing contrast from the park's other areas. This park has friendly employees and fast operations, but there are two cons. One, this park gets extremely busy. Two, this park is prone to weather closures in terms of rainy and windy conditions. But this park is exceptional 
a must for thrill seekers. So that's how I rank all 11 parks in the Cedar Fair chain. I think everyone knew what number one would be, but the next three parks are constantly jockeying for the number two spot in my ranks. What are your favorite parks in the chain? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.